craziest story. It doesn't even involve me. So it's a wild tour story from when I did Lollapalooza in 2010. It entails one young Vic Mensa, who now is on Rock Nation, but like at this time was just a 15, 16 year old kid at Whitney Young. He was pretty much, you know, rolling with us a lot at that time. Kids in the hall, I mean, rolling with us. I told him to be at Lollapalooza at a certain time. I give you a pass, you'll get in, you'll be with us the whole day, the whole night. He doesn't show up like all young, you know, precocious high school kid. He shows up like maybe 10 minutes before we're supposed to go on and is blowing the phone up like, all right, look, I'm outside, can you give me? I'm like, dude, come on, man. This, you know that ain't gonna happen. Like, this Lollapalooza, I'm not gonna be able to get you in. I tell my manager, like, if you can go get him, go get him, but I don't know. I, I told him pretty much, even if you do get in, we'll probably be done performing by then, which he probably didn't care because he would still have gotten into the, you know, Lollapalooza was much bigger than just our performance. And it was a fun time that we had anyway. So this dude tries to hop the gate to get in. In the process, like, electrocutes himself. Low key, like, almost killed himself. His heart, like, stopped. When what I, this is after talking to him. That's why I, I like, this is his story, but it kind of has to do with me. I'm thinking, like, he just walked away and just didn't try to get in. But yeah, everybody's telling me, like, yo, Vic went to the hospital. I'm like, for what? So he tried to hop the gate, and those gates have barbed wire and all types of stuff. So, yeah, they said his heart stopped for like a solid two or three minutes or something like that. So he, the kid literally could have died, you know, trying to get into a concert. And to see even where he is now, like, we wouldn't have had <laughs> uh, Vic Mensa if, <laughs> if uh, he wasn't trying to sneak into a kid's in a hall concert and electrocute him. So, so. Luckily, it all went went for the best. He had a young heart, bounced back, you know, he was good. At the time, like, I didn't realize how serious that was to, like, a lot of my friends were like, yo, he literally, and he fell about 20 feet. So it wasn't just he got electrocuted. He got electrocuted, he was unconscious, and fell about 20 feet. So that could have went all bad, you know, and if you've been to Grant Park, you know, like, that's, like, you falling on concrete, you know what I mean? Like, you... He could have, you know, impact alone could have could have done some real damage to him. So that was that's probably the craziest story that I can think of. And that wasn't even on the road. That was here in Chicago.